coordinator versus what you did last year? Oh, my life hasn't changed much. Just uh, back to work, but uh, no, I'm really excited about it. I had a great time last year. Um, obviously, the role that I was asked to uh, take on last year with Kevin and the offense is something I really, I really enjoyed. Uh, we had a great group, and you know, obviously, with that, with Kevin leaving, the group hasn't changed. So, uh, just feel very fortunate that uh, that Zim and Rick asked me to do this, and. After a couple of days, I thought, let's go to work. You know, I really had a good time, so I'm looking forward to it. Is play calling a big part of, you know, what yeah. you, you know? Well, I think that always, you, you know, when you've done that for so long, I think that keeps you motivated. You know, obviously being in the box last year with Kevin, as he called the game, being a part of that, down in, down out, uh, you know, keeps those juices flowing, so to speak. So, uh, you know, I just feel good about our group. I love our players. love working with them last year and the group of coaches we have, so I'm looking forward to growing on that. You've talked about enjoying the role that you had last year and potentially being wary of jumping back into coaching. Was any part of you hesitant to come back to be an offensive coordinator and play No, uh, I wasn't hesitant at all, uh, honestly. It's just I think it's the circumstances were interesting how they took place. You know, I mean, for, uh, for me to be here, first off, to be a, a big part of the group of guys I've coached with for a long, long time. And then, uh, you know, I, I get here, we put a system in place, we go to work, we, you know, do a job throughout the course of the year. And then, you know, one thing changed. One guy got a head coach, coaching job. So, uh, you know, for me, it's very familiar. I know, you know, I didn't have to go back to work uh, a month ago and say, start over with a new group of coaches. We're way ahead and we can go right back to work and try to make up some more ground here. So I think all those things together kind of uh, a little fuel to the fire, so to speak, made it easy for me to say, you know, Zim, I'm, I appreciate the opportunity and I'm looking forward what was your reaction to Kevin getting the job in Cleveland? Well, I'm happy for him. You know, there's a lot of great coaches on the staff, a lot of uh, veteran football coaches. And I think all of us work and, and uh, try to work in a direction of having an opportunity like that someday. So uh, I think we're all, we're all happy for him. We also understand what he's taken on. You know, I talked to him quite a bit, talked to him last night. So got his hands full from that standpoint. But I think we're all proud of the fact that uh, this football team gave him that opportunity, you know, by the way they played. and the way the coaches worked with him. So I think we're always proud of when one of our buddies gets a chance to do that. When you looked at the San Francisco game or the Super Bowl, what did you see as the difference between those teams and where you guys are? Well, I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out right now. You know, I mean, it ends up being about two weeks, you know, in two games. That's the way it is in this league. You get yourself in position and, you know, can you be playing better than anybody else for a month? That's what it boils down to. So. Uh, we had our chances. Uh, we played well in New Orleans and San Francisco, not as well. Uh, they played extremely, extremely good as a football team. So we're trying to evaluate that right now, see how we get better. Um, that starts with me. How do I get better for the players? The coaches uh, get better offensively for the players. And then when they come back in here two months from now, we can present that to, to them and say, here's how we think we can move forward. So it's all part of the process. After being around the league so long and seeing all different sides of it, how special for you personally is it that you're finding the joy again in the game? Well, I, I never lost the joy. You know, I, I just think I made a decision that I knew I didn't want to be a head coach again. You know, I've been through that with you all. So for me, it was trying to find a way to continue a career. What was that going to be? Was it going to be in personnel? Was it going to be some form of coaching? You know, this opportunity came up. It was a unique opportunity that Basically, Rick and uh, Zim, you know, they, they created that, that opportunity for me. So I've got them to thank for that. And, and then the way it led to this with Kevin leaving, it's just interesting how things worked out. So I just feel very fortunate. I feel good. And I'm uh, very motivated each day. Mike Zimmer mentioned that he thought Kirk Cousins had the best season of his career. What do you think, why does this offense work so well for Kirk? Well, I think you got to give him and his teammates credit. I mean, uh, he played extremely well. Uh, had a lot of help around him. Uh, the guys up front, Dalvin, the way he played, uh, Diggsy, the receivers, Adam. You know, I mean, he got a lot of help from Rudy, a good, a good group. So, uh, but I also think that uh, you know we worked really hard to try to figure out what we think he does best and how we could grow from that standpoint. I think the number one thing Kirk did last year, he got he got rid of the football, and it's hard in this league to get that mentality that the ball's got to come out, you know, for your team to be successful. So I think he took a step in that direction, but now it's time for us to grow off of that. And, you know, how do we get better? He's in the prime of his career. He's a good football player. This is a good football team. And the, and the better better he plays, the better we coach, you know, the further we have a chance to go in this, in this business. So we'll keep pushing on that, but he's definitely doing his part.